All right, we're gonna talk about bloat today, why you might be getting bloat, some things you can do about it. And again, if you are looking at really taking care of this issue to make sure that you're doing the right testing, the right GI mapping, um, to identify what the problem is and target it. I am Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert, author of the books, The Female Fat Solution, The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon where you can pick them up. Um, I'm also host of the podcast, The Female Health Solution. So I do have an episode where I deep dive into this a bit more, just so you know. But a few of the basic things to, to kind of touch on here when we talk about bloat is to understand that sometimes it can be due to, to a food, right? But if you're like, oh my gosh, I ate this food one day and it was totally fine, but I ate this food the next day and holy bananas was my stomach a mess, a mess. Then it's not just the food, right? It's not just the food, it's how your system is functioning. So some other basic things um, when we look at this is the bacteria balance overall, right? Uh, good bacteria, bad bacteria, the overall balance that your bacteria can have. This can be something that can be improved. A lot of people think, I'll just take a probiotic. A probiotic is going to fix this. It can be helpful, right? But oftentimes your bacterial balance cannot be improved and maintained on its own if you're not doing some of these other things. The other things would be making sure you have enough stomach acid, enough enzymes, to break things down. So when we look at getting enough enzymes in, this is something you can add into your, you know, like take as a supplement or something like that. My favorite thing to do, just as a little quick fix to see if this will help, is using apple cider vinegar. At ACV, apple cider vinegar. That can be really helpful to identify if you add this in and you're like, yeah, this helps a little bit, you know you're on the right track. You absolutely know you're on the right track right? A few other things that can be really important when we talk about bloat overall and these potential things. So if you do not have a healthy digestive system, you will create more bloat naturally with things that are irritating, right? Quick example, quick example is if you say have, you know, a, a lactose intolerance, right? Don't digest lactose very well, but your digestive system is healthy, one ounce of milk, right? If it's healthy, healthy balance, healthy bacteria, lots of good enzymes, all this stuff, even though you would eat a food that irritates, your digestive system is healthy, that one ounce of milk that you would drink, your body's not digesting the lactose still, but it can handle it. What happens? It will produce, you know, let's say an extra... Oh, 50 extra, 50 milliliters of gas, extra 50 milliliters of gas, right? Okay. How much do we produce on, on, on the regular? I mean, on the regular, you're going to produce 60 to 180 milliliters per day anyway, right? So that's normal. And you're like, yeah, I have a little bit more, a little more gas. Well, yeah, all right, all right. Now you take the same ounce of milk and you have an unhealthy digestive system, bad bacterial balance, issues with that. What it will produce? 5,000 milliliters of gas. Five. That's adding two zeros on there. This would be your entire stomach blows up and is so painful and uncomfortable. And you're like, I don't even know what to do. What's happening? Do I have leaky gut? Do I have SIBO? Do I have, you know, some other digestive problem? I mean, this is why we do GI mapping. This is why we dive into this and look at what your gut is doing specifically to identify it, to make sure we're not missing something. But this is extremely painful and it takes a long time for your body to recover from this versus just having an extra 50 milliliters. And the difference here, both of them is the same one ounce of milk that you drink, the same inability to process you know, that the lactose, the milk really well. But if your digestive system is healthy, it can handle it. Right? And if your digestive system is unhealthy, it backfires big time. Big time. Yeah. 
So what do we do about this? A few things, again, besides getting good bacteria and getting acids in, things like that. Um, sometimes there's different supplementation. Sometimes there's different food regimens that we follow to keep your digestive system happy overall. But the other thing to look at here would be really making sure um, that you are applying certain things, making sure you are, you know, avoiding inflammatory foods, you know, gluten, dairy, um, excess sugars, processed foods, things like that. And that sometimes is really tough, which I totally get. Try and make sure that you're eating and chewing your food. If you set a timer, see how fast you eat dinner. Seriously, see how fast you eat. And then try and triple that time. <laughs> eat slower. Chew your food. And then the other thing that can really help is walking after you eat. So often, so many of our bacterial imbalances is because food just sits and festers in our gut and doesn't get a chance to move along. So by you just gently walking, you don't have to work up a sweat. You don't got to get your heart rate to a certain place. It's just the worst thing that you can do for your gut is to get a big pile of food, sit, eat it really fast, and then continue to sit there. That's like a big gut bomb right there. Yeah. But if you walk and if you have some type of movement, it really can help shuttle things through faster. And that can prevent some of this excess gas from building up too. So just some quick tips there. Um, let me know if you guys have any other questions on this. But again, if you're like, oh my gosh, this is something I need. I, I need some guidance with this. I need some help with this. How do I get started on this? Below this video, click that link. Learn more about how to work with me so that we can target these things for you and help your system function better and help you feel better overall. So that's what I got for you today. Let me know if there's anything else. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in and I will see you later.